In this video, we're working on a 2007 to 2013 Chevy Silverado. We're going to be replacing this power steering pressure hose that goes from the power steering pump to the steering rack. Let's get into it. I'm going to remove these four bolts underneath. We need to remove the shield. Use a 15 millimeter socket. Take these out. remove the shield. Now we're going to remove this bolt right here. Use an eight millimeter socket. You might want to have a drain bucket underneath. When you take these lines off, you're going to lose some fluid. And pull that bolt out. Okay. Now just grab the lines, just give them a wiggle. Then you can slide these out and you can drain the fluid in the bucket. Now we're going to disconnect this other hose. Just slide this little bracket off. It just swings out of the way. And then take this hose and just slide this out of the way. Now we're going to disconnect the hose from the power steering pump. Use a 16 millimeter wrench. Loosen up the nut. All right, that's loose. And just slide this out. You just want to keep in mind how this comes out. So when you slide the new one in place, you slide it through the same way. So it's going to go right in between that area right there where that hose is and right in front of the wiring harness there. Make sure the O-ring is on, on this side where the threaded nut is. And you want to slide this the same way it came out. And go in right next to that wire. I'm just gotta twist it a little bit. And then on the back of the pump, you can get it in that position. And once you get it in position, you just want to Start threading that in. It's a little bit tricky. And once that's started, you can tighten that up using a wrench. And once it gets close, snug that up. Good. Now we're going to take these two ends, slide these together, just like that, and then take that little bracket that's going to clip on and hold those in there. Now we're going to line this up. I'm just taking a little bit of power steering fluid and just lubricating the ends and line this up on the rack. And push that in. And take the bolt. Get the bolt started. And snug that down. Now I'm going to torque this bolt to 106 inch pounds. That's good. Now I take this cover, line this up, get the bolt started.
Now I'll tighten these up. Now when we want to fill the power steering fluid, take the cap off. Just put a funnel in there and use the appropriate type of fluid. I'll take the funnel out you can check the fluid level and that's pretty close to the hot line so we'll put the cap on with the front wheels off the ground we're going to turn the steering wheel back and forth stop to stop with the engine not running about 10 times repeated that procedure we checked it again and the fluid levels right at the top here, which is good. We're going to start the vehicle and turn the wheel back and forth, stop to stop again with the wheels still up in the air. Shut it down and recheck it, and it should be close to in between the two lines where it was either cold or hot. So I removed some fluid, checking it again, and it's right about there, which is perfect. And just seal it up. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.